Hey there, grade 12s. I'm just making you a quick video to re-explain how to color in a periodic table. So obviously, if you have the cap uh, capability to print this and color it yourself, it might be a thousand times easier. But if you do not have the ability to, um, if you don't have the ability to color, uh, print it off, this is a way to kind of do this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start by drawing a rectangle. Um, it's the easiest way I can figure out to do this. Um, kind of show it real quick. So once I draw my rectangle um, over the area I want to draw, once you get your first one drawn, um, you can kind of set the attributes. So I'm going to make this a purple rectangle. But the problem is, is it's not see-through. So right down here at the bottom, um, when you click on the pink bucket, you go uh, to set your color, you re-click on it, and you go to custom. In custom, down here, there's a spot that says transparency. Now let's see adjust how see-through um, it is. This is where you can kind of set how transparent it is. Once you do that, you can see you've now made a transparent block. Um, I click on the border color and make the border color transparent so it looks good. Once you've got this set up, I then click on that box that is drew, right-click on it to copy that box. I then right-click again to paste that box. I take it, my new box out, and I now resize it to the needs of the area that I'm drawing. So I'll just kind of do that. And there. So that would be that. And I would just kind of keep going with boxes to cover them up, and I'd be happy. Um, to draw the staircase line, um, go to the line tool, draw the line. If you hold down the shift key, it locks it on more friendly degrees. So it's a little bit easier than trying to finesse it. So if you hold down the shift key, it locks it on um, a little bit friendlier angles. I then go to line weight and I click on the line weight. I'm gonna make it a thicker line so it's nice and easy to see where the staircase line is. And then after that, um, I just keep drawing my lines because it, it retains that change that I've made. So I'm just kind of keep going. And that's how I would draw the staircase line. And um, the other thing you need to do here is you need to include some labels. So one thing I would do is um, don't forget to include a legend so you remember what you've done. So when it comes down to it, you can do one of these um, and adjust or make a little box. And that little box, you could then label it using an arrow um, and draw that over there. Take a text box and you could label this as metals. That's how you would do metals. If you want to be fancy, you can put a little border around that so it looks fancy. If you're happy with that, you can adjust the size um, to your liking. The other thing you need to do is you need to label what the different parts inside the squares are. So again, you take an arrow, um, you would draw your arrow to what you're talking about, and then that would be the element symbol. So again, I would add a little text box and call it the element, that's Y-M-B-O-L symbol. And then I would again, just drag that up so it's easy to see. So make sure that you're labeling that as well. All right, so that's how I would color um, using Google Drawing. So I've shared this with you, so you each have your own copy. If you do not want to color using a computer, you may more than happily use pencil crayons and uh, do it as I've done. Um, but make sure you have a copy of this that you can use for your reference because we'll be using this for a whole bunch of different things. Um, I love this because it's a great reference to help you kind of um, move forward, we'll be using this a ton. So even having a printed copy of this isn't a bad thing to have um, handy at all times. So you're not flipping back and forth. Um, I keep it in the front of my binder. So it's just easy to have And in class. Um, when I see you guys, I will be giving you guys printed copies of these as well, or I hopefully will be seeing you guys so I can give you a copy of these. All right, take care of yourselves.